Okay, Christina Garillo Bookerum, did I say that right? Yes. Probably the most popular vegan personality out there on YouTube. You have actually one million YouTube subscribers. Great Day has one thousand YouTube subscribers. Together we have over a million YouTube subscribers <laughs> and we should be proud of that. What is one thing you want people to know about being a raw vegan? Being a raw vegan is about living your best life. It's about living healthily. It's about eating living foods so that you can have the most energy possible. It's also about living compassionately with what's on your plate. It's about making yourself better so that you can help to make this world a better place as well. I see you eyeing those cupcakes. <laughs> Sweet what? Sweet like me. Debatable. Oh! Okay, so this is weird. My boss is here on her day off with her family. She must really miss us. There she I is. I miss you so much. I miss okay. you so much. Okay, introduce yourselves and tell me what your favorite uh, show on Netflix is, starting with you. Hudson, um, I don't really know. Stranger Things, okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> Chloe, I like Jane the Virgin. Okay. I can't just pick one, but I'm Jessica. <laughs> Sherlock and, Holmes, maybe. All right. Yeah. All good choices. I watch Great Day Houston, Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. A good answer. <laughs> Jen, you got a haircut? I did. Didn't we talk about this yesterday? <laughs> but we're talking about it again. And what did the ladies say you should be doing to your hair? It looks nice, but they had some suggestions. They did. We're just suggesting some blonde highlights or some honey highlights that would make, you see, her eyes are already popping. Golden. Yeah. Golden, golden. just improves everything. <laughs> so do cupcakes. Just like my uh, strawberry cupcake. Okay, y'all. I'm on my way back to the office, but I had to stop at my apartment complex because I ripped my pants. This is true, let me show you. I know it's kind of weird, but all I was doing is trying to get in my truck and my bag was slipping a little bit, so I stepped back to grab it off my shoulder and then rip right in the crotch. So either I put on a few pounds or the integrity of my pants is not what I thought it was. This is embarrassing. So, so far, so good. Not one person has asked me about my pants. And I'd like to keep it that way. I'd like to keep it a secret, except for all of you, because I care about you. Okay, there's some drama going on in the break room. Oh, looks like the drama's done. Travis, what's all the drama about? you hear the screaming? What's going on? Be careful, is all I gotta say. What's going on in here? I heard a little drama. What do you mean? I, oh, I was, uh, they're cleaning out the fridge. They left a note, but it's like, I don't know. Oh, oh. I, so I had to name and date my entire lunch. Well, the, the note says enjoy your day. Right here. Oh, there's another note. <laughs> name and date your food, otherwise it will be tossed out. Whoa. But they need to give a time. Look, oh my gosh. You know what though? It is full in here. Okay, so here's Christina's. It says cooker. <laughs> Let me see what if it has. For lunch? So it has a smiley face. <laughs> That's not a date. That's not a date. Yeah, let's see what it is. Yeah, it looks like typical Christina healthy lunch, but I'm afraid we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> what, you're gonna put it back there? The, the policy is to throw it away. Yeah, if it's bad, throw it away. <laughs> Otherwise, the whole bin is gonna be thrown in the garbage. Hi, Alexis. Hi. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Christina. So I don't know if you know this, but there's uh, some stuff going on in the fridge. If you don't label your lunch with a date, it's gonna get thrown away. So who do you know that always follows all the rules? Not you. No, me. No, your lunch is in there and I saw there wasn't a date so I threw it away. But tomorrow, you should definitely label okay. your lunch. You threw away my perfectly ripe, like ready to eat avocado? It had a smiley face, which I'm pretty sure isn't a date. <laughs> it did have a date, it said 619. Does it? Okay, come yes. show me. I didn't throw it away, but that was, that was a warning. Because I'm not even in charge of this, but I just thought you should know. <gasps> you threw away my avocado. No, I didn't throw away an avocado. Where is... Oh, here it is. Oh, that must have fallen. <laughs> I was about to go... Oh, that, that's yours. That's connected. It's See, connected. no, like, pull it all out. See you know how this can be confusing? That's cooker, and that's completely unrelated to that. I didn't understand no, that. No, it's the same handwriting. I mean, hello. <laughs> okay, so you labeled part of your lunch, not all of it. 
Um, and let's say somebody like me who's pretty clumsy is coming to get their lunch. This is me, all right? Oh, where's my lunch? Oh, gosh. Oh, oh there it is. Here's my lunch. Okay. See? See how things get separated? I've never in my life seen anybody <laughs> dive into a refrigerator like Ralph just did. I'm just trying to look out for you. We have been boozled. It is a great day uh, tradition for new employees. They're not new, Stephen and Aaron, but we never did it with them. So explain how bean boozle works. So this is how it works. So the person that is up to bat, the bins, whatever it lands on, you have to get that color. It could be tutti frutti or it could be, what does that say? Stinky socks. Stinky socks. And you have to eat it. You won't know until you taste it. Right. What? Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Here, I just washed my hands. All right. Not really, but. So it's either <laughs> strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Which one is it? It's not, it, you should be able to tell. <laughs> My guess, guess is not it's dead, dead fish. Well, fish. Fish goes with salad. Here, let me smell your breath. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. I don't want to put my burger on anyone. How can you not tell the difference between strawberry banana smoothie and dead fish? I'm guessing it's dead fish. I don't I think guess it tasted a little tart, so I guess that's what made it dead fish. Okay, we're not, you're not it playing. It didn't taste fresh like yum yum yum. Ah. You're not playing this game anymore. All right. All right. Aaron, I know you've played the game before, but you haven't played it with us. So. Well, yeah. Juicy pear or booger? I don't know what a booger tastes like. I don't either. No, don't lie. Definitely booger. Definitely booger. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get it out of my teeth. It's buttered popcorn or rotten egg. You can find it. It's right here. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Yep. What a popcorn. Woo! You lucky duck. You go. The one I have. Berry blue or toothpaste? Toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste would be good still. That's toothpaste. Yeah. Toothpaste. Yeah. See, now you have good breath. Real good. Uh, I don't know. Lime or lawn clippings? If it tastes like your yard. Mmm, it's good. Lime? Lime. Oh, good for you. <laughs> one more person. Kevin Hart has to taste one. Oh. Oh. All right. yeah. No, that's Christina as Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know about this game, but you know, I'm gonna give it a try. We got chocolate pudding or canned dog food. That sounds disgusting. All right. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> that's definitely poop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat it? <laughs> that is so gross. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's the end. Of the Whoa! <laughs> you spit all that out. Yes. That little jelly bean was that bad. That was disgusting.